Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we have something a little bit different, and this time I'm playing with Horse Ranch because you know, I thought it would be maybe a little bit of a good idea to just look around and see and revisit some of the latest expansion packs and I thought it would be fun to just revisit a horse wrench first because I don't know I felt like playing with it for some reason like I felt like oh she was being a little loud <laughs> but I felt like um checking out horses again basically so we're here with Hope Hugh basically literally just popped her in in this lot that I did a while back and she's just gonna have some breakfast because she's hungry but as you can see she has the expert nectar maker aspiration so basically it says the sims wants to master the art of nectar making honing their abilities to consistently craft only the best nectars they also want to make an absurd amount of simoleons doing it so basically she just wants to become rich from selling nectar and making nectar so because of that i actually made her like nectar making and we have it right here ready to go but we need to buy some basic ingredients first for that and i actually haven't really looked into this that much so i think it's gonna be fun to see how it truly works and how long it takes to age the nectar basically because i remember that the more you let it age, the better it gets and the more money you make from that. So I'm gonna go ahead and make Hope take a quick bath. Let's go ahead and take a quick bath so we can go ahead and get our hands dirty. And soon enough as well, I wanna go ahead and adopt a horse because we need to have a friend, especially because, you know, Hope loves horses. She's a horse lover. She loves the outdoors and she's ambitious as well. And she has the essence of flavor because of her aspiration. Um, we should also go ahead and purchase some seeds. Let's start with some fruits. Maybe we are able to get some grapes. That would be awesome. And we can go ahead and plant that there so we can, you know, get ready, get set on the things we need, basically. Okay, so we got tomatoes and bananas. I'm not sure <laughs> we can do anything with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and purchase fruits again. Hopefully I get something different this time around. Oh my god, there's no way. Okay, well, we could maybe actually, wait, let me make her come here. We could maybe actually even go to home. Is it service hair? Order a delivery. Here we go. Some groceries. Let's see if they have our, okay, wait, here, fruits. They have blueberries, cherries, grape. Perfect. Let's go ahead and just buy that. We're gonna wait for them to come back here and be like, here's your grape so we can plant it. Uh, so yeah, Hope is quickly gonna <laughs> make the call. Good, so we did that. But let's see, I think we could actually, oh my god, yes, of course, we can actually buy it here. Um, but that's okay, let's just go ahead and maybe let's do apples since it's more cheap in that sense um let's go ahead and crack some nectar okay so we can make three of them it's vegetarian safe lactose free that's great so let's go ahead and do that let's see how that looks so as you can see here hope is just grinding and oh <laughs> and stepping on the apples to make some good delicious apple nectar um oh my god this looks so cute actually like the animation is the cutest thing ever just look at her go that is very cute and funny okay so i've noticed that our delivery guy is right here he's gonna have to wait a little bit or maybe we can cancel this and continue it later um okay look we actually got a pop-up here from this guy he is all the way over here okay yes i think i remember roberto i think roberto actually oh he's a mysterious rancher okay i see roberto crinkle top uh, Roberto, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he is in charge of the rabbit hole supermarket of Chestnut Bridge. And yeah, I think we can sell the nectar for him and he'll be able to sell it for a little bit more, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, he says, if you're looking to sell your homemade nectar, I'd be happy to purchase it from above face value due to the current high demand. Yeah, exactly. So I think we're able to sell it for a bit more money. So that's good to know. We should have Roberto in mind for future things. 
Um, but yeah, let's continue making our nectar. We got our delivery. Uh, the guy placed it right here. Okay, let me just put that in our inventory. Oh my god, poor Hope. She keeps falling off. Poor girl. Okay, so we can't open it from there. Okay, let me place it here then. And unload delivery bag. <laughs> I'm sure this won't happen as much when she starts getting better with her skills, basically. But it's gonna be fun to see what comes out of this. Okay, guys, Hope is here. And as you can see, we got our apple nectar. Oh, there's four of them. Okay, that's good. And as you can see, it says it's not yet aged. As you can see here, we have the stackable nectar storage rack. So we are able to just quickly put this in here. So apparently by leaving the nectar uh, in this thing, we can make it age. As you can see, it tells you like it's not finally aged. You cannot collect them because basically the ones we have are brand new so they still need some time to simmer and get better quality which is great because that means that the better quality it gets the more money you get from them so that's great so here we have a hope she's just like stretching a bit doing a little bit of exercise but here we have our grape so i'm gonna go ahead and plan this because it's gonna be great to have a great plan here oh i clicked the wrong thing to plant it here with us having this, we won't have to be spending money on ingredients and we can just collect them from our garden, our garden. So it's for the best. So let's go ahead and, oh, we, oh, is that a season? No, you can't tell me that. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to waste money and if it becomes tight, I can just cheat it or even just make Hope get a job. Uh, but yeah, the world is beautiful. I'll never get tired of that. I remember first playing with this pack. I was so impressed with the world. It just looks so beautiful. Like seriously, such a pretty place. And you can see like other fake houses around. Like, I don't know. It's very, very nice, very neat. I feel like they did a great job. And not only that, right across from our house, we do have a couple places I Okay, so here, yes, we have the the grocery store where we can buy mini goats, mini, mini sheep, or even shop for groceries and goods. Okay, so that's good to have in mind as well. And I'm pretty sure, yes, this is what I was looking for. Here we have, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a bar or something of the sort, which looks very interesting. And we do have another shop here where it's just like a rabbit hole where you can change your outfit or plan them. Because I think it's supposed to be like a clothing store. Yeah, as you can see, it is supposed to be that. And like they're selling cowboy hats and the boots and all that, which is very cute. Um, so yeah, I love this. I love how this feels. It feels like you're very close to a small town and you have all your things right over here. And then in front of all that, we have the center where you can train your horses, enter competitions, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, and you can rescue a horse, you can purchase a horse and train your horse or sell them in case you want to do that because you can also get a lot of money from selling horses if they're trained good enough and they're like a good breed or something of the sort. Um, but since we don't have a friendly horse that we really want because Hope loves them, let's go and rescue one because I feel like it's better to do something like that. Okay, it says rescue horse. Due to the environment they come from, rescue horses will have more difficult traits. Okay, so that's a good thing to have in mind. Some extra attention and care may be needed. Okay, that is good. Okay, so we have Chestnut. He's an old horse. Oh, He's defiant, mellow, and needy. Napoleon. Napoleon, that is very funny. Uh, he's a foal. We have mellow, needy, fearful. Ocean Cookie. <laughs> that is such a cute name a foal as well so they're babies um fearful needy defiant we got peanut it's an out horse aggressive okay mm. that's gonna be tricky aggressive fearful and mellow rhythm and blues elder horse needy fearful for spirit and texas so we have two aggressive horses and i really want to get a adult horse because i want them to be with us for a while and the other horses i don't know how long they have i'm very sorry about that <laughs> i feel bad um so yeah we they're both fearful but um i let's see texas is needy and aggressive 
Okay, so they both have those traits, but one is mellow and the other one is needy. Um, who do I go for? This is this is actually quite tricky. I think I'm gonna go for Peanut. Uh, hopefully we can turn around or, or be able to <laughs> tame them down with those uh, traits. It's gonna be very tricky for sure, but I think it's a nice thing to just rescue horses. Like, I think it's always nicer to do that instead of paying a lot of money for a brand new horse, if that makes sense. I feel like it's better to try and give the rescues a better life. We're here, I'm gonna go right ahead inside and see if we can see our future horse, Peanut. I'm so excited. Um, oh yeah, and this lady is the horse trainer, Sienna Grove. So we should definitely meet them and Roberto as well, because maybe we can contact them and you know, talk it out and see if we can sell our nectar or even like train our horses. Oh, horse rescued. Yes, they're so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it as Peanut because I want to have that name for the horse. So yeah, we have Peanut here. It's gonna come out here in a second with us. Let's meet this woman. Friendly introduction. Roberto, please don't go away. Okay, new horse. Where are they? They're coming out of here. Peanut. Peanut. Don't be shy. Peanut. Why are you in there? Come out. I feel like Peanut doesn't want to come out. Uh, okay, so this is great because when you get a new horse, you get some tips about stuff that you may need. It says, congratulations, you have a horse, owning a horse is a way of life, that requires hard work, training, and lots of care. To properly care for a horse, you need a handful of items. Talk off from build mode to objects by room. Go to the outdoor section and then animals. That is great that they tell you exactly where it is. I feel like they should do this way more sometimes with certain packs because it's, it's very easy to get lost. Uh, helpful items may include hay now, animal feeder, horse water, Water through, is that how you say that? Horse bed, one big bowl, and jumps of, or barrels so they can train, basically. Okay, so we're introducing ourselves to this Sims, and I'm gonna go ahead and call Peanut, because Peanut is not coming out for some reason. Oh, well, there they are. What are they doing there? Come out. Because I can't click on them. So they're, oh my god, there they are. Cute. Is Peanut a girl or a boy? I didn't check that out. Okay, so Peanut is a girl. Very cute. Let's talk to Peanut. We need to warm up to Peanut, okay? Because she's not gonna trust us right away. Look how pretty. Aw, she's so cute. Honestly, horses are so well made in this game. I, I can't. I don't know about the other games because I haven't played them, the other Sim games. But look how cute. Seriously. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so I also remember if we go to actions, open profile, we have a set of things that we can look into, which are skills and awards. So basically, the more you level up these skills for your horses, the better they'll behave and the better they'll get. So if they're better with agility, jumping and endurance, you can win a lot of awards and competitions, which is really fun and great. So. I think this is something very fun that we could do, honestly. So yeah, I'm I'm happy to see that. So let's ask how um, Pina is doing. Okay, so Pina apparently is happy, so that is great. Oh, let's let's hug her. Let's give her a hug. Let's uh, scratch neck. Let's make her feel good. So we could maybe. Let's brush the coat. Let's let's do some more care. Let's um, clean the hooves. We need to make Pina trust us, and the better we have a relationship with her, I feel like the better it's gonna be for us. I think everything will be a better process. But we need to remember that, yep, you know, Pina is a fearful horse, so she doesn't really trust us yet to come near her that much so let's try again let's go ahead and clean some hoops and brush its coat because we need to we need to show peanut that we're gonna be there for her so she shouldn't feel that scared from us i've always remembered this from playing the first time i was just amazed with the animations they generally did a great job with that it looks very nice 
and it makes me want to have a horse <laughs> in real life i always have horses they're like very cute so but look at that look how happy peanut is see girl we got you we're gonna make you feel all better can we mount peanut let's see let's try that out so Sin is really a very chatty sim apparently she keeps coming over to chat and the good thing is we became friends with both of them so that's great Okay, so I think it's gonna be probably a little bit hard to try and do these things with Peanut. I need Hope to stop talking, because <laughs> I want her to do things. Okay, so we're gonna acquire the the skill. What is it called again? I keep forgetting the name of that. Horse riding? Yeah. So, what if we try... Oh! Never mind. See, Peanut is gonna be a tough cookie to crack. Let's try that again. Let's go ahead and talk to and let's go ahead and mount okay we were finally able to mount our friend here peanut oh i need to take a screenshot because they both look so cute like look at that maybe we can get the flowers in okay finally this is a perfect shot let's get it <laughs> um but yeah we we're finally able to mount peanut and as you can see we have a couple buffs here okay so it says happy as a horse from horse lover traits seeing a horse happy makes hope happy they are kindred spirits after all oh that's very sweet and then we have an uncomfortable buff that says backed off horse from being thrown from a horse ouch hope is feeling a bit sore after being thrown from a horse yeah i bet that was very painful um but let's see if we can go for a relaxed ride with peanut let's see if peanut it's nice to us and let us do this um so yeah doing all these things are gonna make you get the skills um so yeah if you haven't seen content yet about horse ranch i hope this is helping you understand a bit better and if you have it but you haven't really played with it i hope this gets you excited to do so because i'm having a lot of fun honestly even though we just started it's fun so if you guys want to see more of this like more parts let me know I was just thinking about doing like just a little quick video, just, you know, showing here and there a couple things and whatnot, but I think it would be fun to play with. I'm probably gonna play off screen as well because I've just been wanting to play with Horse Ranch and I love, I love this. I love when you don't have a high horse riding skill, how your sim is basically like very tense or even somewhat scared to be mounting a horse because like you're like oh my god am i doing this well am i going to fall off it is like a very uncertain type of thing <laughs> Okay, we're heading back home and as you can see the animation for riding back home is a little bit more intense <laughs> and yep hope is absolutely terrified she's like oh my god <laughs> she's like oh my god whoa 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 slow down but yeah it's like very funny and so cute honestly okay we made it home sweet sweet home we, we should see uh pins need okay hunger and energy are good but maybe we can go ahead and refill this and maybe ask Pina to come here and take a quick drink since you know she's been riding and running home a lot so she's pretty tired so that's a good thing Kobe Kobe go Aww. this is honestly so cute I love this um but you guys I think that's all I'm going to show you today. I hope you really enjoyed this as much as I did. This was a lot of fun. And I am excited for everything to, you know, keep going. I don't know. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, I think this takes a couple days actually for it to age. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I'm repeating myself. Um, but seriously, if you have a horse ranch, please give it another go. Because I know a couple people play with it and then got bored really fast but genuinely i think it's like a good way of having like a quick change of pace not always doing like a city or like something of the sort it's like more of a low-key more relaxed type of life um but you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye